We ain't here to bow down, I know it's true We're just two young men trying to make it in this game Not for the fucking fame Sorry? You're fucking sorry. Won't ever happen again, huh? Yeah, Chase. I'm sorry, and I won't ever do anything like that again, but I think there's a, a lot more that needs to be said. Fuck, man. What makes you think that I want to talk to you at all? Ever? Because we're friends? Yeah. Yeah. Friends like this. I know, man. And I don't expect you to want to talk to me, and I won't blame you for telling me to fuck off. Good. Fuck off. I, I just want to say something first. Here we go. You're gonna say it was an accident or some shit. Like, you accidentally walked into my apartment, slipped on the tiles, and started fucking my girlfriend. Or maybe you thought she was someone else. Or maybe... You didn't realize she was with me for six years before you started fucking her. No, no, we weren't fucking. It only happened once, I promise. Look, I'm not trying to justify what I did. But it was only once. Yeah. Yeah. But once was enough, wasn't it? Now you've damaged her life forever. Of all the women in the world. You had to go and wreck the life of the one that was with your best friend. I didn't know I was sick, man. For life. Say it, Dan. Sick for the rest of her life. Doc said that strain of hep is manageable, not curable. He said it was a fucking miracle that I didn't get it. You know how guilty she felt when she realized she put me at risk? I don't know if I would have ever found out if she didn't get herself checked. Your one time fucked up everything. So I appreciate the sorry. Thanks for the apology, Dan. Best buddy. All good now, huh? Let's just hit the rewind button and go back two months before it all went wrong. Sure. Trust me, what I wouldn't do Trust to go you. That's supposed to be a joke, huh? Who the hell am I supposed to trust anymore, man? You two were supposed to be the people I trusted the most. Now there's a part of me that hates your guts and never wants to speak to you again. And then there's a part of me that just feels sorry for you. Sorry for me? Why would you feel because sorry for me? Because you got sick, man. Pretty sure you didn't do that on purpose. There was a part of me that wanted to hurt you so bad. I feel like God did that for me already. So what? What do you want? I wanted to talk. I mean, I've been thinking about our legacy, you know? The stuff that we leave behind after we're gone. The stuff that people will remember us for. I know I can't change what I've done. And I've realized that what I've done will be a part of what I leave behind. Some people will always remember that I did what I did. Yeah. I appreciate legacy if you yeah. ask me. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shit way to be remembered. And and if I drop everything, and we never speak, that'll be how that part of my story will end. 
I want you to know, I want everyone to know that I faced the people that I've hurt, that I admitted my guilt, that I will always, always feel ashamed, that I don't want to lose my friends, that I would give anything to go back and make it all right. I want that to be part of my story too. I know, man. I don't really want to talk to you right now. I need a little time, man. <sighs> yeah. a lot of balls for you to come here and say what you did. You didn't have to, but you did. I remember. On this journey we will find Our souls begin to intertwine Your heart of gold so pure, divine And I Myself within the fire, breaking free from my desire. A heart of gold forged you to inspire. It's dark fire. It's dark.